Hey everyone, long time no see. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm finally going to be filming my first throwing away photo cards video. Well, actually that's not true because I did do an organizing video back when I first started my channel, but that was before these videos became really popular, so it doesn't really count. But anyways, I have these two boxes here filled with photo cards that I've gotten over the past I don't know how many months, so I'm really excited to finally be putting them away in my binders. But before we do that, I just quickly wanted to share some products that BT Cosmetics has sent to me for free to review on my channel. And it's funny because in my last haul, I jokingly said that BT would never collab with me, and then I got a comment from the company's official YouTube channel saying that they sent me an email last December. So I'm a clown, but luckily they reached out to me again, and this time I made sure to reply because I've always wanted to try out their products. So if you don't know, VT Cosmetics is a huge K-beauty brand and they've done collaborations with BTS and BT21 and the products that they've sent me are from their BTS collab. So for now, I'm going to move these photo cards aside and I'm going to do a quick review of these products and then we'll get to organizing. Okay, so first I have this really cute message card from the company which just says spoil yourself. And on the back, there's just a message saying that they wanted to collab. So that was really sweet of them. And then next, they sent me this Get Ready Brush Kit. So here, let me get this out of the plastic. And then here's the case. So on the case, it does say VT BTS. And then in the back, it just has some information. Just tells you that there's five types of brush kits helping to make perfect makeup anywhere, anytime. So here, let's take a look. So yeah, it's a really nice um, makeup brush kit. And when you open it up, it has five different makeup brushes and then you can store them in this bag and you can put like other makeup products and things in here and yeah let's get the brushes out okay. all right so here they are so let's take a look at this one and yeah this looks like a really big one so i'm assuming that this would be for like blush or like foundation and yeah, I mean, they're like multi-purpose brushes, so you can really use it for anything, I assume. But yeah, I would probably use this for a foundation or um, blush. And then we have this one. And it looks like it's like tilted, like at a slant. So this would be good for like contouring. And by the way, guys, I am totally like BSing <laughs> because I never really wear makeup that much. And I definitely don't use like makeup brushes, but like... I want to get better so like i'm glad that they sent this to me because it's just something that i've been putting off buying but like it's like really useful so then next we have this one and this looks like it would be good for like um what is it called eyeshadow yeah wow guys i'm like so smart <laughs> so i would use that for like eyeshadow like maybe on the lid and then we have this one and this is another one that would be good for eyeshadow but like probably more like the blendy type like you can blend it on your crease and then lastly we have this one and this is another one that's like kind of at a slant so this might be good for like eyebrow sculpting so yeah that's what i would use them for but again you can probably like use them for different things so yeah, those are the brushes, and you can just, like, stick them in here now. So, let's see. Just like that. And there you go. You're like a pro. Man, I should really, like, rebrand my channel and become, like, a beauty guru and give James Charles a run for his money. But yeah, those were the makeup brushes. Alright, and then next, they sent me this Essence Sun Pact. And look at that OT7 picture boys look so amazing here and jungkook's low neck like my god kill me and yeah here's the back it's on korean but yeah the ingredients here are in english and then down here we have the expiration date so it's good till 2022 so hopefully i'll use it by then so here let's get it out so it comes in this really cute like compact case and here when you open it up there's like a mirror, but we won't look at me. And then there's this, which you use to like apply the product, which is really fancy. And here, let me see how you open this. 
oh, from here. Oops. So yeah, you use this to apply it. So I actually haven't tried it because I wanted to try it on camera and get like a first reaction. So basically what this is, is like sunscreen or sunblock. And I think you can like use it to substitute for like foundation base or yeah, something like that. <laughs> so here, let's see if it goes well with my skin. And basically you just rub it like that. Ooh, it's blue. Okay. Is that enough? I don't know, but let's just try it out on my hand, I guess. Okay, well this obviously goes on your face, but yeah, it it feels good. I mean, I don't know if it's supposed to blend completely. It just makes my hand look more shiny. But, yeah, it's for sun protection, so. And I guess you can use it as, like I said, makeup base. So, yeah. I mean, I won't be going out in the sun or to the beach right now because we're all in quarantine, but it's good to wear, I guess, for protection. So, that was the sun pack. Alright, so here's the next product, and it's called the Born Natural Special Capsule Kit. My camera wants to focus so yeah right there and it says use once a day depending on your skin problem so i did try one out last night just so that i can tell you guys about it so yeah let's take a look at them so they include seven different ones for like each day of the week of course you can wow it's upside down you can wear like whichever one you want like any day of the week that doesn't matter so here let me get them all out first Alright, so these are the seven different face masks, and this is one that I tried, so let's take a look at it. So basically, you just peel it from here, and then inside it'll have like a little face gel that you put on. So there was actually a lot of products still left over, because like, I already covered like my whole face with it, and I didn't want to overdo it. And I think it is good for like multiple uses, as long as like you seal it closed again, because... Again, the expiration date is like 2020, so it should be good to use multiple times. So basically, you take like a suitable amount and like you just directly apply it to your skin and you put it all over and you leave it on overnight and then the next morning you wash it off and basically it just smooths out your skin, moisturizes it, removes like dead skin cells and I personally found that like my face did feel like really fresh even like applying it it felt really good and it's not like really sticky or anything like you don't even notice it at night and like it won't get on your pillow or anything like that like I thought that it might get all sticky but that's just because like I'm not a face mask person so I didn't really know how it works but I thought that one worked really well so I'm probably gonna like use up the rest of that before trying out the other ones but if you guys are interested to find out more information about these ones, I'll have a link to them in the description. And on the website, it tells you what each one is for, what they look like, and how to apply it. So, yeah, please check that out. Alright, so next they sent me this beautiful hand cream set. And I just love the packaging. Like, look how stunning. And I really love this photo shoot that they did. And Veeman's hair colors. Like, yes. So, basically, you just open it from here. And inside, there's a hand cream for each member. And these scents correspond with the perfumes that they did, like under the same name, and I can't pronounce it. But yeah, basically the scents are the same. And I know this because I have Jungkook's perfume, but it's a little more subtle. So if you guys don't like such strong scents, I would recommend going with these hand creams rather than the perfume. And I just really like having like an OT7 set, so that's nice. So... Yeah, I already tried them all out before this video, so like you guys don't have to like watch me sniff each scent on camera because that's really awkward. But here, let's take a look at each of the hand creams. So this one is Jungkook's, so that's what it's called. I just call it Ocean. So the key words kind of gives you an idea of what it smells like, like ocean and breezy, and I do agree with that. It's really refreshing. His is one of my favorites. His, Hobie, and Jin's, but... Yeah, we'll take a look at theirs. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it out. <laughs> so next we have these. 
and I like ordered it in like age order so like youngest to oldest so anyways his is called musk so his keywords are musk soft and addictive and then more fragrance notes so yeah his kind of smells manly like that's the only way I can kind of put it so his was probably my least favorite but it has nothing to do with the members guys it's just the scent itself not my favorite but that's just you know my opinion <laughs> you might actually like it best but anyways here's Jimin's so his keywords power ambery mysterious but after like smelling it myself the best way for me to describe it is baby powder like that's what it smells like to me but yeah I liked it because I actually like the scent of baby powder <laughs> if you don't then it might not be for you and then we have um, Namjoon's so that's what it's called so his is described as woody warm and elegant which is very fitting for him but to me like this was more of a neutral scent so if you don't really like strong scents this one would be good for you if you just want something to like moisturize your skin as a hand cream but don't want it to like smell so strongly his and um Yungi's were more neutral and then we have citrus so this is hobie's and i love his like it literally smells like sunshine so that fits hobie to a t and yeah it says lemon pine so yeah you get the idea but to me it smells like oranges yeah citrus so really like this one in fact i think i want to try it on so basically you apply it like that just a little bit and then rub it on so yeah it smells so good <laughs> i really like it i do imagine hobie smelling like this why wouldn't he smell like sunshine and rainbows right <laughs> so yeah let's put that back and next up we have vert i think that's what it's called yeah so this one's yungi's so it's described as green cozy and intense i wouldn't really describe it as intense because like to me this was more neutral but yeah those are the keywords and fragrance notes and then lastly we have Jin's and his was like one of my favorites so his keywords are cotton soft and delicate but I would describe it more as like a flowery scent like it smells like roses and again that's how I imagine him to smell anyways so I think these are really accurate <laughs> but yeah, I would highly, highly recommend this. This is like my favorite thing I think that they sent me. Oh, before I forget, they actually sent me a random member of Standy. And guess who I got? I got Namjoon and I'm so, so happy. He looks so amazing here. Such a king. And previously I bought um, Jungkook's perfume and I got Jungkook Standy. So yeah, now they're going to go together on my shelf. But this is what it looks like. I'm not going to take him out just yet, but he'll be going on my shelf next to Jungkook because we love Namcook in this house. So that's everything BT Cosmetics sent me. So if you guys are interested in purchasing any of these products for yourself or you want to see what else they have available, I'll be sure to include the links in the description, so please check that out. But now let me clear this up so that we can start organizing my photo cards because that is long overdue. Alright, so now onto the photo cards. So I just have them in these two boxes. So in this first box here, I have like all my OT7 and OT6 sets. And when I say OT6 sets, it just means like I pull Jungkook's photo card out of that set because his photo cards will go in his separate binder that I have. And then in this one, in this Armypedia box, which by the way, if you guys saw my community post, I completed this 1000 piece puzzle and I'm so, so proud of myself. It literally took me about a week. But anyways, um, yeah, and here I just have like bigger things. I think I mostly traded for these stuff. So I have like Stray Kids, Day 6, 17, um, some EXO things, NCT. So yeah, just random stuff that I got from trades. And then in this box, I have like all of my Jungkook thing and um, just miscellaneous photo cards. So I have Super M, Taemin, NCT, Day 6. Um, T by T. Is it T by T or TXT? I never know what to call them. But anyways, these I actually recently purchased from a friend and mutual of mine on Instagram. 
and oh my gosh she gave me such a good deal on these photo cards as well as these let me show you these are like my most recent purchases so i'm really excited to finally have jungkook's full begin set and if you're like an army or just a bts collector or a jungkook collector you know how much these are worth so the fact that i own them now i'm just so so happy so yeah these are all the cards that i bought from her so she's still selling um a lot of her jungkook collection as well as like bts things so if you guys want to check it out um this is her business card so here's all her information so feel free to message her on instagram and twitter so i think what i'm gonna do is organize these into piles according to group off camera just to save some time and then we'll start with the binders of those groups that i have least photo cards of and then we'll work our way to the ones that i have most photo cards of which will most likely be bts and jungkook obviously so yeah let's just get started all right, so here's the first binder that we're gonna take a look at. And I just realized that I never completed my photo card collection series. I think I had like two more videos to film because you guys never did see my GOT7, 17, and Stray Kids collection, as well as like my miscellaneous groups. So my bad, but um, there's really not much to this binder anyways. It's just like my pulls basically from um, just other groups whose albums I collect. Like here, I just wrote a generic K-pop photo card collection, but basically it has groups from like A to L. And then I have another like miscellaneous binder that has groups like M to Z. So in this binder, we're just gonna put away my day six because they fall under that A to L category. So here, let's open this up. So I was gonna say this is from their latest album, but they just released The Demon, which I haven't bought yet. So. I really need to get on that but then again i have been contemplating like downsizing my collection and i just don't know if they're one of those groups that i'll continue to collect or not so yeah tough decisions i do love their music still it's just a matter of like um i can't financially support all these groups as much as i love them but anyways as you can see i have a ton of fillers here so these are just gonna go i guess they can go there how should i do this Okay, I didn't really plan this. I think they'll just go here. Why not? Or no, no, no. I'll actually put th this here because it kind of matches like these pre-order benefits. So here, this will go out and I'll put this. To oh wait, that doesn't fit. I guess just take it out of the plastic. Okay, now that works. And then this I'll just put here. How do people film these videos? I'm struggling. <laughs> the camera right in front of me. And this will go here. Okay. There. And then this is a postcard. So I traded for Sungjin. And I only trade for day six if I have like doubles. So this will just go. I think I have a filler here. Yeah. Take that out. Put that there bam done but oh my gosh i really love zombie i love day six so much musically like i fell in love with them ever since i heard i wait and then this envelope i would just put here this is where i keep like extra things okay so that's the first binder done so let's move on to the next one Okay, so here's my next binder. So this contains groups M to Z, as I mentioned. So I actually used official Monsta X stickers, which makes me cringe now, because like, why would I do that? Especially since I stopped collecting Monsta X and I might want to sell their albums. But anyways, yeah, it just says K-pop photo card collection. So yeah, now I have T by T. So here, wait, let me take all these cards out. So this folder thing will not fit in a sleeve or I don't want it to like stick out too much. So I'm just going to put it on the side here with this Taehyun one that I have. And I pulled Taehyun twice, which is why I traded. Otherwise, I don't collect anyone specifically. Okay, so these are my photo cards. So I forget who I pulled, but I obviously pulled doubles if I traded for them. 
And this is actually a Wano card that somebody gave me as a freebie, which I love. I love Wano. And I do love Monster X. Like, if I say I, I'm going to stop collecting a group, it's because I financially can't support all of these groups as much as I would love to. And I just don't have space anymore. So where should I put this? Okay, I guess it could go here. Why not? So let's put him at the top. To be honest, I don't even know like where this card came from like which album but it's really cute so now let's move on to tomorrow by together or yeah like it sounds weird to call them tomorrow by together i always call them txt all right so this big card i guess i could just stick on the back here so let's do that and then these little ones, by the way, to save some time, I already put in like these pocket pages. Okay. And I really love their new comeback. Like that song, Can't You See Me? So, so good. Had that on repeat. And yeah, they're just so great. I love them. But again, I don't know if I'm going to buy their new album, but we'll have to see. So that's that binder. All right. So here's the next binder. And this is my shiny slash super M binder. And I think I have something else in here too. Or is that just it? No, I think it's just shiny and super M. So I only have one card for shiny. It's really just a tame and solo card. And I got this with his photo book. So yeah, it's gonna go towards the end. And the day that I'm filming this is on Shiny's 12th anniversary, so I'm so proud of my boys. They're amazing freaking legends, and they've just been through so much, and they're just going to come back stronger when all the boys are reunited again. Can't wait for the next comeback. Just trying to think, where should I put this? I guess I could just stick it here, like right after his Kino cards, for want. Oh my gosh, I'm so ready for a new Tame and Comeback as well. Let's see if he releases anything. But yeah, I think that looks nice. So now moving on to Super M. I have all these cards, which I've traded for. I actually haven't bought a single Super M card. Like right now, I'm just trying to trade for them as much as I can. And then I'll buy the remaining ones. So yeah, let's just put these away. Is that better? I'm sorry, I didn't realize it was out of frame. So that page looks so nice. It's the first set that I have a complete for them. And we got this Taeyang one. So I'm just missing one Lucas version for the US press, and then it's complete. But yeah, that looks really nice. And then I'm still missing a lot for the Korean press. I just have the eight that I pulled, which I was so lucky to have pulled like one of each member plus one group card, but I'm still missing the other eight. So yeah, that's all for this binder. Okay, so here's the next binder. And this is my 17 slash pentagon slash the rose but i really don't have much of pentagon or the rose because i only collect one member of each and they don't have as many releases as other groups so basically this is 17 and for today i only have 17 to put away so i have from what was this album called again an ode and then i have um is it fallen flower yeah i have one fallen flower because the rest i'm trying to trade so let's see let's go to an ode and yeah, I'm sorry I never showed you guys this binder before, but at some point I'll do like an updated photo card and collection. All right, so here it is. So for Mingyu, this is Begin, and I marked it that it was on its way. Okay, and then I have June's Begin. I actually traded for this photo card twice. I'm so stupid. So I have an extra one that's up for trade. If you guys want, please DM me on my Instagram at staygoldjk. All the photo cards that I have up for trade and my wish lists are on there. So this is June's Hope. Photo cards for this are very similar. So I'm always scared to like trade for the same version, which like I said, happened already. <laughs> and this one is Mingyu's Truth. 
is so hard to film. This is why I've never done this before. I'm, like, I'm afraid of knocking over my tripod. So let's see. Okay, I have one of these. Who is it? It's Truth for Mingyu. So let's see. Right there. That. Okay. So wait, let me see. Who am I missing? I have all of June's except for his begin. And then Mingyu, I have just two of his, so I'm missing three. Okay, and then I have this HMV pre-order for Fallen Flower. So let's see. I put Japanese at the back. Oh, that was happy ending. I'm doing so bad with the Japanese. I don't even know why I'm trying to collect these, but I just think their cards are so pretty, so I can't resist. Okay, so that's thank you. I still need Junes. And this is like a pre-order, like a special card. So I'll just put it here with my miscellaneous photo cards because I don't think I'm going to try collecting those in the future. If I can get Mingyu's, that would be nice though. Okay, so that's it for 17. Okay, so here's my next binder, and this one contains my JYP group, so Stray Kids and GOT7. And this binder is so heavy, like it's already full because obviously JYP doesn't know what a normal amount of photo cards is. So yeah, I have a lot of Stray Kids cards to put away. So what was this for? Levanter. Wow, I'm still collecting Levanter. It's not that I'm really still collecting. I basically completed it. It's just that I haven't been putting away my photo cards, so it seems like forever ago. All right, so let's speed this up as I put these away. this one Japanese photo card. It's a group one. I pulled two of these, so I wanted to trade the extra, but I doubt that's gonna happen. Oop. Oh wait, I forgot about these bookmarks. So actually I do have the last one here, Levanter. So why does it say Felix on it? I have no idea what I was writing. So anyways, yeah, that completes that set. And yeah, so as I was saying, I have this Japanese card. So, oh, also I traded someone for this Chan Stay in London Polaroid PC, as well as another Jason card, but I think that got lost in the mail, which makes me really sad. But that person did some proof that they sent it. So yeah, mail has just been getting lost for some people. Okay, I don't know where to stick this. These are just freebies as fillers, but I think they look nice since they're like my biases. <laughs> so. I guess we'll just stick it here for now. Does that look stupid? Kind of, but it's fine. All right, so now moving on to GOT7. I only have this one Mark photo card, call my name. And I think I've traded someone for one of Jackson's spinning top, but that hasn't arrived yet. So let's skip to where this goes, all the way at the end. I was actually doing so good with GOT7 until this album happened, Present You. And then, yeah, JYP started doing like 10 photo cards and seven photo cards, remember? And then eventually I had to drop Bam Bam from my collection, which makes me really sad, but it had to be done. I really feel like I should only be collecting one member, but like, I really can't pick between Mark and Jackson. Okay, so here's the page that this goes on. So yeah. Um, and then this is a freebie that somebody gave me. It's the same person who gave me that one on card. So she was really sweet. And I think it's official. It looks official. So where should I put it? Mm. This page is really plain. Let's put it here. Right in the middle. Okay. I think that looks nice. Alright, so that was that binder. So let's move on to the next one. 
All right, so here's the next binder. This is my EXO binder. And I've downsized my EXO collection to just um, three members. So Kai, Baekhyun, and Sehun are my top three. And hold on, let's get the photo cards. So these are the ones that I have. That was a really tough decision to make because when I first started out collecting, they were one of the first groups that I started to collect. And I really wanted to do like OT12. As you can see, I have like Chris, Luhan, and Tao. I still want to collect those three because they were like some of my favorites and I still follow them like now. And it's so nice to see them all together. Like I think they're doing a show together. I mean, I don't watch it, but like I've seen clips and stuff like that on Twitter of them like together and it's just so, so nice. Wait, what, what am I doing? I was skipping to like obsession, but I forgot I have this one back in photo card, which goes all in the beginning. So there's a lot of holes in my EXO collection. I don't know when I'll ever be able to catch up. Maybe when Big Hit gives me a break and I can stop spending all my money on BTS. That'll be the day. But anyways, let's go forward. I actually have some Sehan postcards. So I actually don't collect Lei, but I pulled him and I figured I might as well keep him since like I had an extra slot. All right, so Sehan's gonna go that way. Like that. And I could leave big ends like that. So there. By the way, sorry for like the glare on this side of my binder. It's just the lamp is there and I can't do anything about it. Um, let's see. So now I have a Don't Mess Up My Tempo big end postcard. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering why I still have these sets complete, it's because like I completed them before I decided to downsize and I just can't let them go. So if I had like a completed set, I'm just keeping it. But most sets are just down to the three members that I collect. Um, and like this one, I made so much progress on, so I think I'm just gonna complete it. So there's a few members that I'm missing. Mm, okay, so right here, big hands, international one. Okay, so wait, who am I missing? So I'm missing Chen's International, Kai's International, and Kyungsu. Yeah, so just three, which is why I decided to keep this set. Even Love Shot. Oh, no, no, wait, sorry, I downsized. Okay, I'm like spacing out. Anyways, um, okay, so now I have some Obsession cards. I haven't put any of them away, and I did so bad, like with my pulls. And then I have the Sehan Kino one, and it looks really creepy, but I love it. <laughs> for Kinos, I don't know if I should collect all three of them. For now, I'm keeping Sehans, but in the future, if I decide to just stick to one, I might trade for Kai, if anyone's willing to trade. All right, and then I have this Sehan postcard. I really love this concept. Okay, so that goes on the other side. And for this one, since like it goes on a two pocket page, there would be like an extra slot. So I decided I want to get Chen Yeo's because yeah, I really loved his look. Like he slayed this concept. And now I just have some extra photo cards, which would go under miscellaneous. So like past all the season's greetings. here so i have kai's light stick version 3 finally i bought it off of ebay because i couldn't find a tray for my schumann so now schumann's up for sale if anybody wants that and oh wait i have something else to stick here i have this which came from their exploration in japan i still have to get like their new dvd and the live album I'm so behind on new releases, and I still haven't pre-ordered Baekhyun's Delight, which just dropped today. Oh my gosh, candy is so good. But anyways, this is um, some freebies that somebody gave me. So, Nature Republic. Actually, I think I should put that up there and then bring the Nature Republic down. Okay, I think that makes more sense because like then we have like group pictures up there and these are all Kai and then that's just Sehan but like the Nature Republic goes together and then I have one of Chenya on the back. Okay, and then I have 
these sticker sets. The person that sold me this card just gave me the stickers. Just nice because I already had them from the light stick. So that will go in the back. And I have this which also came, I think as a pre-order gift for their Japan um, Blu-ray that I got. So I'll just stick it in the back right here. Perfect. All right, and then like I said, this will just go up here. And that is EXO. So yeah, really need to pre-order Beckham's Delight. There's three versions, but oh my gosh, I'm already obsessed with the album. Okay, so let's move on to the next binder. Alright, so here's my next binder, and this is my NCT binder. It contains all of their subunits, so NCT Dream and Wavy as well as 127. So we'll start off with 127 since I have the most of theirs. So wait, actually I have like these stickers from the Neo Zone album, and I usually pull stickers out of the album and I just stick them on the side. I'm not really sure why I do that, but Sometimes I like to use them, other times I don't. I probably don't use those ones, but yeah, I just like to keep it there. So now let's move on to the photo cards. So I had their Neo Zone albums and I was able to complete their sets because for NCT, I basically collect all members, except for Wavy, we'll get to that. <laughs> basically for Wavy, because I was doing so bad with their um, collection that I decided to just collect three members to make it easier on myself. So anyways, I have both versions, the yellow and the red one. I forget what they're called. Yeah, so they're all here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are the yellow, so I labeled it yellow right here. So we're just gonna forward this part as I stick all these in because there is a lot. Okay, so there's that page. It looks so nice. I love collecting OT9 sets because, yeah, it just fills up the page really nicely. And I don't have to worry about fillers, which I'm not, like, creative or anything, so I can't, like, design specially made ones. Wait, what am I doing? This says yellow circle cards. Alright, so here are the yellow circle cards, and for the circle cards, I stick them in these type of sleeves because, like, I don't like to see through the back. So, yeah, let's move this aside and just stick them in. another completed page. I love that. All right, so now we move on to the red pieces. So here they are. So pretty. I love that one at Taeyong. And Jaehan looks really good in that one too. So yeah, let's just stick these in. So that's the red set, and now these are the red circle cards. And if you're wondering, I bought all of these sets from an eBay seller. So if you're interested, just ask and I'll let you know, because I have to look it up. I don't know off the top of my head. a little flip through of the Neo Zones because like that's just so satisfying. So these are the yellow PCs and then these are the yellow circle cards and these are the red PCs and then the red circle card. So that's done but then of course they released the T version <laughs> and to be honest I should have expected a T version because like they wouldn't just have an N and a C version. So the T version also came with um, a set of photo cards as well as circle cards. So I already ordered the whole set off of the same eBay seller that I bought these ones off of, but the seller's on vacation right now, so they're not shipping it out. So I'll have to wait for that. And then of course they released the repackage recently, which by the way, I love the comeback. Like I love Punch. I think I like it better than Kick It. And I really like the B-side nonstop. It's so good. 
So yeah, this came with two versions, first player and second player, and each one has a set of photo cards and circle cards. So yeah, I just got the pages ready. I don't know when I'm going to be able to like order the full sets. And like, I mean, I haven't even bought the albums yet. I'm so behind new releases, guys. It's not even funny. And then they even have postcards for each member. I don't know if I'm going to collect the postcards or not, but I have like in the past for like um, their other albums. So we'll see. And yeah, that's it. Okay, so now we have this NCT Dream photo card. And this is from their Japanese album, The Dream. So I pulled Hey Chan. And I don't think I'll be collecting NCT Dreams um, Japanese photo cards, which is why this will have to go in my miscellaneous section. It's just too expensive, like Japanese albums, and I'm already collecting NCT Dreams, um, sorry, not NCT Dreams, NCT 127's Japanese photo cards. By the way, I loved their comeback reload. As you can see, I have the fillers ready, and I do plan on collecting their photo cards, but I haven't even bought the albums yet. I'm so, so behind, <laughs> low key stressed, but I really want to get it. I think I liked Reload just as much as Boom, but oh my gosh, I love the B side Quiet Down. Oh, and as I mentioned, I'm only collecting three members for Wavy now, so Lucas Ten and Shah Jun, just because Wavy cards are so hard to come by, especially for like their first mini. So we'll see how that goes, but right now I'm not too focused on them. So anyways, this is my miscellaneous NCT section. So yeah, right here. These are the photo cards that I have to put away in this section. And this is my most recent purchase. I got it with their Neozone Kino and I bought it off of Dear 10. You guys probably know her. She's like one of my favorite K-pop unboxers. So yeah, let's put NCT Dream down here since it's a Japanese album. I want to stick the Kinos on top. And I really wanted to get Taeyong, which is why I labeled it that. Like, for any special photo cards, I would want Taeyong. But I couldn't resist this Yuta photo card when I saw it because, like, I just love his hair this era. And he's, like, my second bias in NCT 127. So I was like, why not just get him? If I can trade him for Taeyong, that would be great. But for now, I'm holding on to him. <laughs> so I'll just replace this filler. Actually, I think I'll move hey chan over here and this i mean i just kept a sticker for the wavy album but i don't really need it there <laughs> i just wrote nct dumping page i got that term from katie because i watch her um storing away photo card videos a lot and she always <laughs> says that i'll let you get to move that out so yeah this came with their live album and this came with one of their blu-rays actually this came after so let's put this in the middle this came before there so for nct dream like i'll just keep my pulls whether it's a japanese album or a kino but as you can see like for nct127 i usually would like to trade for taeyong but i think i'll just keep that utah and maybe i'll buy taeyong's photo card because he looks so cute in his kino photo card he's wearing glasses and i just love that so anyways i think that's it oh no wait i have one last thing to put away it's this nct dream pre-order card so do i have a spot for it I put these from the season's greetings in here. Do it. Oh, okay. I think I can put that there. Does that look stupid? I think it'll be fine. Yeah, I just don't want to waste another page just for that one. It's not even straight. Okay. I think that's kind of cute. So that's it for NCT. Okay, so now we just have BTS left, so let me move this aside. 